stereo headphone mic for GoPro on helmet cam. For this you will need soldering iron, grippy tool, solder, electrical tape, heat shrink, hobby knife and pliers, scissors, GoPro audio breakout box, GoPro camera, stereo mic, a pair of lapel wind jammers, sanding block, sandpaper, two curve helmet mounts with adhesive pads, one clip on mount for the microphone, one small headphone extension cable and some super glue. Adhesive Velcro and one of these side mounts for the GoPro because it's got the hole in it. One bicycle helmet preferably with smooth front in order to facilitate mounting things easily. Step one, grab your little mount thing and attach your adhesive pad. Mount the GoPro onto the adhesive pad and work out where you want it to go. Usually I have it down the front. You may need to get some tiny strips along the edge. There we go. Get it in around about the right spot. Check that it's good to go. Then squish it down. And next is to position where the microphone will go. Around about here or you can put it wherever you want. Maybe even on the back here like this. Next is the microphone mount. Get that out of there and then you will need the soldering iron. You will also need that, which then goes into here like so. So get your soldering iron out, push it down in the middle. Takes a bit of time to melt. It's a nice angle. And there we go, melted. Should be perfect for this to fit into, like so. Next is to get your microphone out. This will go in here, like so. Then you can position it such that it is shielded a little bit by the GoPro. Now in this case, I've got two grooves there, so I might fill them up with these little strips I did before. And then, there we go, that's how it sits. Next, take these off. Make sure that this can clear that. And then give it a good old press down. Now grab your mic, take the mic out, and super glue, work a little bit in these grooves here, and that becomes a nice little permanent feature. Now it's time to position the GoPro audio breakout box. Oh, come on, get in focus, you fucker. Grab your audio mount, plug it in, and see where this sort of naturally sits. We will be putting some Velcro there. All right. Peel that off. And whack that down. For the underside, we will need to put the opposite Velcro. Okay, this doesn't stick too well to this. So, you will need your sandpaper and sanding block. Get the underside, make sure it's the right one. And then we rough that up. Once it's nicely roughed up, give that a wipe. And again, we get the super glue. Nice amount there, not too much. And careful not to get it anywhere into those things. Peel this off, whack that on here. We'll just let that dry off and set properly over yonder. Next is the tricky bit. Get the end, plug it in. Then we're going to make this as short as possible. So we'll cut it here and solder it up so that it doesn't bang against that. Let's get the scissors out. This one. Okay, so we have to solder these together now. Get ready 
to do this. So now we've got three, oh, we've got four of these. So they'll all have to be soldered to this four. Now we prep each of these. I usually bite the ends off. Same for this one. Next up, we grab this bad boy, cut that about there. Make sure that you put it on first. So when we solder it, we can pull it across and then put it in. This is extremely fiddly, but it's worth it in the end. Let's see how these ones go on. Let's get this up here and get it nicely ready to go there. Okay, now we go in. There we go, do it as quick as you can so that the heat shrink here doesn't get too fucked up. So we move that one over there. And then we use the side to shrink it down. Great, so that's one. So now, take this off, so it's connected, and then we just need to somehow slip this bad boy over the top. Okay, so with a bit of faint dangling, I managed to get it over, and we just shrink it down. So, that's sort of it. Not, not super duper, but if you use different heat shrink or a bit of gaff tape or electrical tape, it will usually do the trick too. So, there we go. Next thing is putting these on that. So we get these fluffies out, have a look there, and let's just check that they all fit on okay. Seems not too bad at all. We're gonna have to glue this onto here, but without getting in those grooves there. So we've got to be extremely careful, folks. Let's do this. Tiny bit of glue there. Tiny bit here. Now, it won't dry immediately, but you've got to be pretty damn quick. Pull on as tight as you can. Now I just have to do it for the other side, which will be a bit tricky. Use a bit of marker pen. This will be the left or port. So I'm using red on that, just so you know which way it goes on. Now an additional thing you can do is get one of these cables, USB-C I think, to USB, plug it in here like so, and then around the back get one of these batteries, a bit of Velcro there, and essentially you can cycle all day. So there it is ladies and gentlemen, that's how you put a stereo mic for your GoPro.